across America and across pagan and Druid and Wiccan circles and even some Catholics and Lutherans and Methodists, there are people who use a pendulum and openly they abuse it in a way of entertainment and often they use it in a way of faithfulness. But several people that I've met in some of those spirituality and religious oriented training grounds that are kind of atypical to churches have communicated that their pendulum or their faith bob lies to them. And the pendulum, it doesn't exactly lie to them, but angels around them can lie to them. Demon spirits can lie to them. But at the same time, what I have learned is probably what's happening is that the individual wants a certain answer and the Lord is not willing to give it to them. At the same time, they're not really submitting all their hearts and woes and worries to God, and therefore the pendulum may not be working for them. As a professor, as a trainer, as a teacher of this faith practice, I am very quick to know, because the Lord speaks so, whether or not someone is getting a proper answer. And what I can do with people who like me, know me, and fully trust me, because they've been my friends first, like my sweet soulmate, who's a very caring person and a beautiful lioness mother to her four great kids, is that all I had to do was touch her on the back with her permission and the pendulum would then swing correctly to show her her new submission. The energy that flows through a person is a gift from God. The energy that we put forward in the world is never odd. But how we live our life force in this time and in this place and in this space of our life matters to God. 